All right, thanks for staying a while and listening. So what is it that I really dig about Diablo 3 to praise it so much? Well, since you asked, I'll tell you. I think game franchises do best when they find the right balance of keeping or improving what they did right, getting rid of things no one liked, and trying new things. The last one usually being the trickiest part. Didn't see that coming, did you? So a lot of what I love about Diablo 3 are things I loved about Diablo and Diablo 2. Simple and effective gameplay, cooperative modes to play with friends, cool enemies, and sweet abilities to blast them with. I'll start with that last one, sweet abilities. This is probably one of the things I like most about Diablo 3. D3 has done away with ability points and skill points, adopting a leveling system more like Warcraft, where every level you gain a new skill on a set progression list. Personally, I kind of like this style better. Now there's no, damn, I put 10 points in sword specialization and just found a legendary two-handed axe, or not using points until you've unlocked the ones you want to use at level 30. There is still a bit of customization though, since you choose up to six skills to use at once, and the addition of runes that augment your abilities. This is something I really like, but what puts it over the top for me may sound dumb and is just a little thing, but that's what can make a really amazing game when you take the time to make all the little things stand out and be cool. Every rune will change your skills, not just in stats or power, but actually what it looks like too. Now they didn't have to do that, but it's that kind of attention to detail that makes this game really enjoyable for me. Four new classes are introduced in D3, with one old favorite making a comeback. All the classes bring something different to the table, and there's little overlap. So while not every class will appeal to everyone, there will be something for everybody. Damage has been overhauled now in an attempt to level the field for getting gear, I assume. Everything is just damage, so an axe with high DPS is actually useful to a wizard or witch doctor. At first I wasn't sure about this, but so far it seems to be working fine. Become stronger. A few other new features. A more traditional form of crafting has been added. No Haradric cube required either. This feature is neat, but other than upgrading gems, I'm not super crazy about it. Seems to me more like a gold sink and something else to do with loot besides selling all the stuff you don't want. Also, paying to train seems silly since actually making the stuff doesn't raise skill. But other than that, it works well for what the feature intends to do. Achievements have been added. One of my favorite things to do in World of Warcraft is get achievements, even the stupid ones like running around and slash love critters. So I was excited to see this in Diablo 3. A common complaint of Diablo 2 is that it's just a boring gear grind game. Achievements and things like random encounters change up the action a bit for people grinding gear, levels, or playing through the game again with alts. An auction house was added as well. Blizzard is not shy about spreading its ideas around to multiple games. This is kind of cool too, but personally I like the thrill of killing bosses and getting loot yourself. So the big hubbub about Diablo 3 is error 37 and the like. Amazing games are not so amazing if you cannot play them, right? Thumbs up? Personally I didn't have a lot of trouble with this, whoa wait wait wait, don't blame me yet. I think it was because I have a job too actually, and a life, and I went outside. I wasn't trying to log on 24-7 the first week. <laughs> okay, flame away. Diablo 3 for PC. I can't believe you really did it. Linda, are you crying? <laughs> no, no. It's raining. It doesn't rain in the heavens. Well, it does now. 